I feel increasingly certain that everything is connected, that the same laws that operate in the cosmos uh, are manifest in the life, the biological life of the thin film that surrounds planet Earth, of soil and of plants and of animals and of people, and that this can be understood in the macrocosm but also at the microcosm and in the human being. It's very difficult to put this into words because it's a signpostless, subtle journey into silence where there are no milestones and no familiar landscapes necessarily. And yet, the result of making that effort against the lawful resistance is utterly transformational and sacred. The journey, the sacred journey, is in fact an inner journey of search. And it involves, speaking personally, uh, bringing the attention of my mind into my body uh, as a precondition for undertaking the journey. Um, people talk about meditation, prayer. There are perhaps a number of different words that describe this, but for me, Going into this silent place against the resistance of my turning thoughts and repeatedly coming back into myself, eventually something starts to, the resistance starts to fade a little bit and there is a better anchorage of my attention in my body and this makes it more possible for me to be open to receive real impressions of what is. In my experience, the resistance is part of the struggle. It's almost not only lawful that there will be resistance, but necessary that there will be resistance, because that is the anvil of transformation. When there is great friction and you persist in making an effort to keep your attention inside, uh, the consequences are even more profound and revelatory than they would be if you simply were, it was easy which is certainly not what I've found. And I think that it is difficult when you are in the world and engaging with other people and in an environment where you're perhaps surrounded by people who are extremely dispersed. But if you still make the effort, then there are always lawfully consequences. And I think it's true to say that one person in a better state, in a room full of people who are dispersed, their atmosphere and their state will touch everybody else in their company in ways which they may not even be consciously aware but which will nevertheless have an effect. The turning thoughts and the attraction of the exterior will pull you back into the world and rob you. It's a thief of your attention and your capacity to really be present to what is. And it's that play that maybe is the story of our lives and our journey is to struggle against the the outward pull, which is lawful, and equally lawful will be the results of sincere efforts to bring your attention inside and to keep it there. I'm a regular participant in the Louisville Festival of Faiths because I have found that when you come together and, and you, the way that you've wor worked and developed this festival has created an atmosphere which makes it possible to explore issues which otherwise can't be explored. So for instance, last year when I was in Louisville, I felt that because of the atmosphere of the festival, and the intention of all the people who were supporting the conversations and the exchanges which took place, it was possible to go much deeper 
than is the case in ordinary life. And this is a profoundly important thing and it requires a deep understanding of the issues and the need for uh, the search and the struggling and over time I think Louisville's really developed that to a, a level which is probably unique in the world.